What up guys, Tyler here, and I got something really interesting for you today. So, many of you have seen these high altitude training masks that supposedly give you the same effect as training at altitude. What am I talking about? One of these. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of Bane looking from Batman. It's kind of a neat looking thing, but does it work? So, here's my opinion. They advertise that you can get the same effect as training at high altitude. So, you know, elevation training mass. But the problem with it is, it does not change the volume of oxygen coming into the mask. The air that you get in the mask still has the same volume of oxygen that is around you. It doesn't change the amounts. In order for any of this to have effect, you need to have less oxygen coming through the mask, therefore changing your body's adaptation to how much your body can absorb oxygen. But what it does do is it actually trains your diaphragm to become stronger. Does it have the same effect as high altitude training? No. Does it make it easier to breathe? In some cases, yes, due to diaphragm and increased lung capacity. You know, it's arguable, but it's not the same effect as running at altitude. Does it look cool? Yeah, but in my opinion, yeah, you can train on it, you can train with it. it. Gives it a whole different perspective on your workouts. However, it's not the same as training at altitude. It's not the same as being in a high altitude chamber. So if you're looking to get that high altitude effect, spend 16 hours in a high altitude chamber while you sleep at night, but you need 16 hours for it to get effect. Up to you if you have that kind of time. But if you're looking for a high altitude training, this is not the way to go. There's really no cheap way to get high altitude training unless you live at high altitude. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and follow, and I'll see you around. Thanks. Luke, I am your father. Wow.